Well, she talked about something that this is a major thing that um I have an issue with pick me's on. Let me see if I can find it. Wait, let me see. I don't want them to feel my essence. I don't want it. Not interested. But I do see a lot of women parading. It's almost like a salesperson's Mm -hmm. position. When they're constantly selling themselves to you, like, look what I can do. I can cook. I can clean. I can comb my hair. I can get my nails done. I can do this. I can do that. It's it's like you're selling yourself consistently. Consistently. Even when you settle on one person that brought what you was brought what you was presenting. You know, somebody done met you, they done brought it, and you still selling yourself. What are you seeking? It's because it's not enough in those cases. They have a void and they're basically trying to fill it. But the thing is, they will never have it fulfilled because not even a man loving them and cherishing them as their um, husband and, you know, You know, even if they were married and they were a wife and things of that nature, they still wouldn't feel whole because their problem is not men. It's not being accepted by men or being desired by men. It's something else. And this is a major thing that I have an issue with, with pygmies. See, I've always said I think I would fit very perfectly well with Pygmies, in the sense of when people talk about 50-50 and things of that nature, you know, I do not have that type of mentality where I am really hypergamous, um, I don't really believe in all the different traditional roles that some people like to think are ideal for them, that's not really ideal for me, anyway, um, So I do think I fit more into the pick me idea of things, but the thing is, is just that so many times people talk about this type of stuff and they basically try to basically like what she's saying, like sell themselves, downsell other people, put other women down and try to upsell themselves as if they're on like they're trying to, um, basically you know, like she's saying, sell themselves to those men that they are, um, entertaining or communicating with or conversating with, especially on different platforms and things of that nature. So this is a major issue I have with pick me channels. Now, some pick me channels don't bother me that much when they don't seem like they're selling themselves so much, you know, if they just have a certain perspective and they just share this perspective with men and women and that's just what they do um there's some channels that i subscribe to that would be considered pick me but they don't really focus on what they do and all this stuff for men like that as much you know they seem to only do it when they're trying to give advice maybe to other women or something but not in a way of downselling people really you know i just don't like the those type of people really with pygmies and she pointed it out and i really um i really agree with that basically that type of pygmy is annoying you know this is a major thing you know what got my channel to um get more notoriety was specifically me basically asking why focus on what another woman does to upsell yourself, you know, um, those type of pick me's to me are just really annoying, you know, because it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like they just seem to me like they have a void and they're trying to annoy everybody with that void, basically, 
they're trying to basically um, fulfill a void that's never going to be fulfilled. And they're trying to basically distract themselves with men. And in the process, they're annoying everybody because it's like you, like I said, are constantly trying to upsell yourself and focus on basically men. It also, to me, implies they might think that they are a lesser human being and that's why men matter more than anything in the world because men are better than them, you know? And some women are slave-minded, honestly. Some women are conquered. Some women are just inferior in mindset where they... Well, I don't mean they're inferior people. I mean they are... They see themselves as inferior, okay? And so when they see themselves as inferior, they look to men who are, in their mind, superior for everything. And they basically want approval for everything from men because men are better than them. So it would make sense in that regard. You know, it's a matter of how you view your womanhood, I guess. But yeah, I just like that part that Woman's Sphere was talking about, so I thought I would add my two cents on it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe, comment down below, and have a great day.